Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn notifications on, and why don't they give me a big thumbs up? Because it really does help me out. Today, we're going over some PTSD coping skills. I have an emotion wheel cushion. I got it on Etsy, but it's always showing how you feel while talking. My fidget toy collection. You know I've got a whole box of fidgets. Earplugs to make sure noise doesn't become overstimulating. And a soothing face mask. Also that's a little soft. And you keep close. Other coping skills include breathing exercises. So the cube ones are good, so you count around the side of a cube. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. In for three. Out for three. In for three. Out for three. And to regulate your breathing. So you don't get overwhelmed. Going for a walk sometimes help. Listening to music. Listening to music. Watch a film. Try to not isolate yourself. Text a friend or a family member. Do some online shopping to distract yourself. Within means. That's not an excuse to really impulsively spend all your money. Read a book. Go and sit in a park for a while. There are so many things you can do to help yourself when you're having a flashback or struggling with PTSD symptoms. Like dissociation, use grounding tools, have a bath, hot or cold, make sure it's an extreme. For me, I go for a hot bath. Yo, I'm filming a video here. The, tr the trick is to not get overstimulated. That's why I always recommend it here, but if you have the AirPods, great, use them. Just listen to some music, distract yourself with music. Have a set comfort playlist. So that's all I've got for this video. If you are new, make sure you hit the subscribe button, join the growing family, like I said at the beginning of the video, hit the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in another video. Peace.